On the day of the fight, their mother got sick. So the older brother stayed behind to watch and take care of their mother. Kiko went off by himself with his combat cock and his brother's money. Anxiously, their brother waited for his return. The minute he arrived, he asked, Well, what happened? Well, it's a long story. Did you win? Did the charm work? Oh, yes. Yeah, that thing worked. How much did you win? Look, I think you need to know from the story from the very beginning. Yes, go on. I'm dying to Well, first of all, I got more talent and made the rooster swallow the activity. Sure enough, it made our rooster invulnerable. Just as I said, during the fight, it took the offensive, the, the efforts of its opponent, and it's all been to be futile. Yes, yes, go on. As I was saying, the other rooster couldn't harm us. Or couldn't harm our rooster. And that's how we won? Then, um, our rooster took the offensive and it's not as it struck its adversary and its trust was so powerful that a chop opponent into Nice! So that's how we won. Well, no partner, that's how it lost. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't get this. You said our rooster slashed the other two in half, right? Correct. That's what I thought you said. Then we won. The whole partner lost. I don't, I don't understand. How did we lose? Well, we lost because when our rooster sold his opponent, or two, it ran away, thinking that it had two opponents. Yes, then it's a tie. I'm afraid that's not how it works. We lost. I told you. We lost. Why? Because when the birds were when the birds were built, the other rooster managed to escape that he had died because he had us up. You know the rules of the pit. In instances like that, runaway roosters lose. You mean to tell me that the other ducks still managed to make the necessary pecs? Yes, sir. But how can a clean duck do that? Perfect action. You should think that it's amazing. You should see a snake. I have seen snakes bite and wiggle ours after being seen. Yes, but those were snakes. This is a rooster. And how can a cock trust cut another two? A rooster's leg do not have that kind of power. The amazing gravity power partner, I told you. Look, people, it's fine that a rooster lost. But why do you have to add a full fuck story? Why do you have to tell me that our rooster was invulnerable? It was! Then how can an invulnerable chicken lose? I just told you how. Carter, after all I told you that it was invulnerable, not invincible, there. It's a big difference, you know. I think you have to lose, partner. I see. Well, where's the rooster? I want to see the rooster. Rooster? What rooster? Oh, the rooster. Yes, the rooster. <laughs> That's another thing I wanted to tell you. I killed it. Killed it? Why? I was so disgusted at this turning tail and making us lose that money that I killed it. How? You said it was invulnerable. Sure, it was invulnerable. But I got it in the river on my way home. And I'm not kidding, it cannot. It's your speaking principle, but your speaking, but you cannot protect you from drowning. I am sure you know that well, partner. Where's the drowned rooster? You always take your dead rooster home for mother to cook. Sure. Not this one, partner. Not even mother to cook this one. It wouldn't be good if you were to be talokan, talonan. That thing, thing has been expressed in speech flesh. Huh. So, how can mother cook it? Besides, mother is too sick to go by the way how by the by the way, how is mother? Is she feeling any better? Never mind mother. No. Could it be possible that the rooster was not vulnerable and that you didn't want to take it home because it has wounds that you didn't want me to see? Of course not. 
I don't know what the so what I mean. It's not the first time that you made me lose money in the coffee. Remember that coffee with the seven odd steals? You told me that the food is loose because the seven can signify the seven. Holy virgins, but it's still lost. I told you, it's lost because there are only seven dead seals. So why did you tell me to spread on it then? And how about that one with 12 odd skills? You told me that one was unbeatable. Sure, there were 12 apostles, but only 11 were loyal to our Lord. So we really should should have looked for our rooster with 11 and not 12 odd skills. The science of virology is not as simple as we would like to make it out. The virology is a complex thing. Everything should be taken into consideration. And above all, nothing but nothing should be taken for granted. But why didn't you tell me that before the fight? And oh yes, by the way, just for her. Which half of the post post managed to make it that did it. After that, the older brother resolved to have nothing to do with his brother's game fouls. For months he stayed clear from the cockpits. More importantly, he made no more bets in absentia. In fact, he made it a point to not even discuss roosters. The only chickens that he had anything to do with were those that he ate. The younger of course, he tried extremely hard to get him interested in cocks again and he wasted no opportunity in injecting chickens in all their conversations. Once, for instance, is when they were talking about the graft and corruption in the government. Then suddenly, Kiko interrupted the conversation. Hey, did you see your rooster crowd? No. Well, speaking of roosters, did you know that... Uh, no. Now stop it! I told you I don't want to hear no more about roosters. I'm tired and sick of it! God damn it! Kiko saw that his brother was really determined to cease cocking. So he changed his technique and tried a psychological approach. One day, he came to his brother and admitted that the anting anting proved inefficacious, but he still claimed that it's good faith and blamed everything on the soldier that sold him the amulet. Kiko tried everything to convince his older brother, but failed. That's very interesting. Actually, you should be a writer or something. Maybe you're the next adult or something. Come with me. What is it again? I want to show you something. Gosh, this guy. <laughs> there. The king of the roosters. I've been searching for it high and low ever since I heard your story. And now, I have found it. Nice bird. I don't understand how that related to my story. Don't you see it? Look at the tomb of the chicken! What? Don't you see? No. Remember what you said about cock's comb? Yeah. Well, look at the comb of my or our chicken! No. Don't you see? This is the king of the roosters. All roosters have combs. But this is the only one that has a crest that looks like a crown. Why? Because it's the real king of roosters. It's the true heir to the king's crown. So, so what? So it cannot lose. How can the king of the roosters lose? So, why are you telling me all of this? Because this foul is just as much your discovery as it is mine. If I have never read your paper, I never will have known of the existence of this bird. So actually, you and I are co-discoverers of this cock. Do you remember that hermaphrodite chicken? What is it called? Hermaphrodite chicken that we, that we pitted in the main? Yeah, I remember. Well, we both discovered that rooster you and I and that rooster won. It slaughtered its opponent with one no. It won because its opponent thought it was ahead. And by the time it learned the truth, it was too late. Don't be silly. It won because you and I found it together in the cornfield. It, uh, it was our mutual cock. 
just like this booster. It is our discovery. Yours and mine. All right. What do you want me to do? I want you to help me get this royal rooster ready for battle. This is our chance to clean up, okay? Okay. Getting the king ready for combat was no problem, particularly because Kiko had decided against the usual prerequisite for game pause. He did not bother to stab its spurs, nor did he trim its feathers or divest it of its comb, wattles, and earlobes. The older brother took the king and they headed for the battle pit. Get up and let's go. But first, they made a stop at the house of Don Vicente Valenzuela to borrow an old cock spur. This spur was a relic of the coffee boom of the 80s when roosters were reputedly fitted with solid gold cups. Its blade was made of Toledo steel and its fork flange was inlaid with gold. There it is. No other gas will do. It was a beautiful work of art. Here, let me carry that. You must be tired. Yes, I am. The older brother did not see through his concern till they got to the gate. And by then, it was too late. He had to pay 50 centavos admission to get in. And Kiko did not have to pay anything because in the cockpit, a rooster served as a pass. Once in, he promptly shoved the king rooster back in his brother's arm and looked for their opponent. Here, hold this while I look for an opponent. Kiko didn't care whether his brother was tired or not. Well, the older brother philosophized, that's Kiko. Luckily, he did not have to take charge of the rooster for long, for they had been at the matching place for only a few minutes when a man carrying a hollow rooster came and challenged their cock. Even if they tried, the older brother don't think that Kiko or him could have found a less worthier looking opponent for the king. The hollow had exiguous neck feathers. It looked half naked and half starved. Kiko and his brother readily accept the challenge. Don't you stand here, Mr. Mimor? 